<laughs> Hello guys and welcome to a new crypto video of the most beautiful music instrument there is, the crypto violin. Guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I am back today with some bullish news articles and some juicy price predictions. I hope you are ready because without further ado, I want to kindly remind you to subscribe to my beautiful crypto violin channel. We are at 8.66k subscribers. So let's go to the 10k subscribers. It will be an amazing Christmas present for me. And as you all know, I did a small Christmas makeover to my channel, to my intro and to my logo. So I hope you liked it. And I'm wishing you all a bullish XRP mess. And we are the channel of the future 1%. Don't forget this, guys. Without further ado, let's dive into the juicy and bullish content I have for you today. So first of all, this article is from Daily Hodel and the article states, world's largest crypto asset manager just bought 131,254 Ethereum and 1,313 Bitcoins in 24 hours. Wow. That's amazing news. In 24 hours, guys, new data is revealing that Grayscale Investments, the largest crypto asset manager, just added roughly $100 million worth of Bitcoin and Ethereum to its investment portfolio. According to data circulating from crypto analytics firm Bybit, on December the 8th, Grayscale added 131,402 Ethereum worth approximately $74 million and 1,313 Bitcoins worth approximately $24 million on December the 9th. Both acquisitions occurred over the course of two separate 24-hour periods. The firm's large Ether purchase supports Grayscale Investment Managing Director Michael Sonnenheim's observations that an increasing number of institutional investors are seeking exposure to Ethereum and only Ethereum. Okay, that's very interesting. Over the course of 2020, we are seeing a new group of investors who are Ethereum first and in some cases Ethereum only. There is a growing conviction around Ethereum as an asset class. Grayscale Ethereum Trust has garnered the attention of a new segment of Ethereum-focused institutional allocators. During third quarter of 2020, over 17% of inflows into the Grayscale Ethereum Trust came from new institutional investors. Sonnenschein also says that from what he has witnessed at Grayscale, institutional interest in Bitcoin is by no means slowing down, suggesting that its recent bull run still has gas left in the tank. As of December 10th, Grayscale's Ethereum asset under management totals $1.66 billion and its Bitcoin assets under management totals $10,015 billion, also according to Bybit's data. As of December 10th, Grayscale's own data show that its assets under management totals $12.2 billion US dollars. Wow guys! That's so bullish. World's largest crypto asset manager just buying up Bitcoin like it's candy and cryptos like it's nothing. And you know what? The supply is running out. So it's becoming more scarce every day. And institutional interest is just starting as we read in this article. So institutional interest in cryptocurrencies as a whole is rising and is by no means slowing down is what the managing director Michael Sonnenschein is telling us. That means that we have still gas in the tank guys. That means we have still fuel to continue the bull run guys where we left it. Because these couple days we are in accumulation phase and consolidation. But this will not be for long guys. We will go and shoot up to new all time highs guys. All those new institutions they are not buying $100 worth of Bitcoin. They are buying $100 million per day guys. Can you imagine those numbers guys? Can you imagine what this will do with the total crypto space if $100 million in crypto is bought every 24 hours? This makes me very bullish, guys. We read another article. This article is from Daily Hodel and was posted December the 11th. The article states, Ripple rolling out global expansion strategy targeting XRP adoption across Asia Pacific. Ripple's global expansion strategy continues, with the company looking to hire high rank positions in Europe, Asia and Latin America. The company is hoping to fill numerous positions across Asia, including a managing director of RippleNet based in Singapore, a senior policy manager also based in Singapore and an account manager for SBI Ripple Asia based in Tokyo. 
the senior policy manager will specifically focus on lobbying for XRP-friendly government policies across the Asia-Pacific, according to the job advertisement. The senior policy manager will specifically focus on lobbying for XRP-friendly government policies across the Asia-Pacific, according to the job advertisement. The SPI Ripple Asia account manager will manage customer relationships within Japan and South Korea. SBI Holdings invested in Ripple in 2016. That same year, the pair launched SBI Ripple Asia in an effort to bring payments powered by distributed ledger technology to financial institutions and remittance transfer providers in the region. The Japanese financial giant has also been testing the use of XRP to settle corporate debts and credits. In Europe, Ripple is looking to hire a managing director of RippleNet Europe and the sales development representative for the Europe, Middle East and Africa region. Both positions are based in London. Additionally, the San Francisco-based payment startup is searching for a client solution manager in Latin America. The position is based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The company, known for its high turnover, is currently advertising for 31 open positions in total. Wow guys, this is so amazing news. We can read that Ripple is aggressively expanding throughout the world guys. And this is very positive because they are expanding XRP adoption across Asia Pacific. And XRP mass adoption means that the price of XRP could rise to very high levels guys. There is no other payment startup that is growing and expanding as fast as Ripple guys. This is so positive news. And if this continues, we will see Ripple, the company, and XRP, the currency, taking over the world, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, because I'm very curious. Do you think that XRP could pack all currencies? I think so, guys. I am very bullish. And news like this makes me even more bullish, guys. Let's read another article from CryptoNewsFlash.com. The article was posted 11th of December, and the article states... Number of XRP wheels reach all-time high before Spark token airdrop. The number of XRP wheels has reached an all-time high in anticipation of the Spark token airdrop. There is almost 95,000 individual accounts set up to receive the Spark token. According to the Sentiment Data Analysis Platform, the number of XRP accounts holding more than 10 million XRP, representing approximately $5.67 million at the time of going to press, has climbed to a new all-time high of 339 in anticipation of the Spark token airdrop. According to Sentiment, this represents a 10.1% increase over the last three weeks. Okay guys, this means that the amount of people that are holding 10 million XRP or more is rising to new all-time highs guys so all the smart money all the big wheels they are buying up xrp this is very bullish guys so if all the big wheels are buying xrp this means something guys there's something going on according to sentiment it's also notable that the trading volume of xrp in anticipation of the airdrop is about to overtake that of ethereum more than 50 crypto exchanges including coinbase Bitfinex, Binance, Bitthump and Upbit are participating in the highly anticipated event. After a snapshot of all balances on the XRP ledger, Spark token will be distributed free of charge in a 1 to 1 or more ratio. According to a Twitter user, there are almost 95,000 individual accounts set up to receive the Spark airdrop. These accounts have a total of 21 billion XRP. The user further explains that since the announcement of Spark airdrop, XRP stocks have increased by almost $500 million. In total, XRP funds have increased by 12%. We read further guys, what XRP owners can expect from the airdrop. CNF reported that all XRP owners except Ripple Labs and certain former employees of Ripple Labs will be able to claim the Spark token. Once the snapshot is taken on December the 12th, these addresses and all stock exchange addresses that do not support the airdrop will be removed from the pool of eligible individuals. Accordingly, approximately 45 billion XRP are eligible to participate in the airdrop, minus the exchanges that do not participate. As the CEO of Flare Networks, Hugo Fillion explained, this will result in XRP holders being able to receive the Spark token at a higher ratio than 1 XRP equals 1 Spark token. The right to claim the 45 billion Spark token will then be distributed to each remaining address according to the proportional XRP balance in the snapshot. 
This can result in valid applicants receiving more than one Spark token for each XRP they own. All current and most all former Ripple employees who personally own XRP can participate. The only exception is Stellar founder Jed McCaleb was banned from claiming the token. Okay guys, very interesting. This means that it's highly possible that we will receive more than one Spark token for each XRP that we own. So approximately 45 billion XRP are eligible to participate in the airdrop. But all the exchanges and for example Ripple founder Jet McCaleb and other individuals that did not set up their account to receive Spark token will not receive them and all those remaining Spark tokens will be shared between the people that did set their account up. So more Spark tokens for us. That's very nice guys. And this is another thing that I wanted to show you guys. And Kraken posted this as one of the latest participants in the airdrop. And this is an announcement that Kraken is supporting the Spark airdrop. And there is very useful information. So I want to read this with you. XRP investors and traders. Kraken is supporting the Spark airdrop. Here's what you need to know. Kraken is pleased to announce our support of the Flare Networks and Spark token airdrop for XRP holders. The first thing to understand about this airdrop is that it's unusual because there is a very large gap of time between the snapshot of XRP balances and the launch of the Flare Networks and gradual distribution of the Spark token. Due to the unusual nature of this airdrop, we urge all XRP holders and traders to read this announcement carefully and learn what to expect. When is the snapshot of XRP balances? The snapshot of XRP balances takes place on December 12, 2020 at approximately 12 a.m. UTC. Anyone with the XRP balance on Kraken at this time will, once the distribution of Spark token is completed, receive an amount of Spark token proportional to their XRP balance. The exact proportion is a bit complicated. See here for an explanation. Clients do not need to do anything beyond having an XRP balance on Kraken at the time of the snapshot. Kraken will handle all other details. Okay, here comes the very important news guys. What is the expected schedule for the launch of the Flare Networks and the gradual distribution of Spark Token? The launch of the Flare Network and start of the gradual distribution of the Spark Token is not expected until around May of 2021. After the network launch, Kraken accounts that had an XRP balance at the time of the snapshot described above are expected to receive 15% of the total Spark token for which they are eligible. The remaining Spark token is expected to be distributed by over the next 25 to 34 months. The plan is to distribute a random percentage between 2 and 4% each month. So guys, it will take at least to May 2021 before we will receive the Spark tokens. And even in May 2021, we will receive 15%, okay? And then on a course of 25 to 34 months, the remaining Spark token will be distributed, okay? So we will not receive the Spark token immediately, guys. Too bad. So last but not least, I want to show you this very interesting article. This from XRP USD on the daily on Bitstamp. And this was of December 2018. We see here that in December we got huge price spikes of almost 75% and also a dip of 40%. And then again, we saw a huge price spike to 43% and then again, huge dip in a couple of days to 30% guys. And then we saw a huge price spike again. And this price spike was actually very much. It was, let me check it exactly. It was 263%. And you know what happened afterwards, guys? We got a price dip of 23%. Again, a huge price spike and then again, a huge dip. So what I want to say to you guys and those dips, people were scared at those dips. They thought, oh no, I'm going to sell my XRP because it's going down. But they didn't know that it would go up even more, even more and go straight past the $1.30 mark and then even go to $2, make a huge dip there also because look guys after we broke above two dollars then xrp made again a dip of 
34% guys I would be crazy in this time seeing XRP from almost two and a half dollars back to one dollar sixty cents but no the people who kept their head cool could see XRP price rise to three dollars and thirty cents guys so are you the kind of person that will cash out very early when XRP makes a small dip after XRP has risen 200 percent we be that person guys because at this moment we made a dip of 27 percent but we will proceed guys we will proceed with at least another pump to 75 percent where we can visit the one dollar mark guys that's my short-term price prediction the one dollar mark and afterwards we can see at least it breaking out to all those resistances at one dollar thirty cents one dollar sixty seven cents and two dollars that's our short term goal guys and then we'll pop all the resistances and break to new all time highs guys that's why i'm bullish that's why i'm juicy i hope you're also i hope you have an amazing december month and we'll have a bullish christmas guys i wish you all the best and have a great day and see you in the next video bye